Today we are at the bridge, the bridge of Green School Bali. So we've chatted to the parents of Green School Bali. Now today we want to talk to the kids. We want to know what they love about Green School. We want to know what they don't like about Green School. I think the beauty with kids is the brutal honesty. Maybe we should be a little nervous. Anyway, let's go see what kids we can find at Green School Bali and have a little chit chat. Now we've run into a little Green Schooler. What's your name? My name is Ryan. And what grade are you at Green School? Grade one. Grade one. And what do you love about Green School? Art class. Is art class good? Is it the teacher that's good or do you like what you do? I like what I do. Okay, what do you make in art? Well, we do art. Like we make um, lanterns out of cardboard and paper. <gasps> and is there anything else you love about Green School? Mm, and green studies. What do you do in green studies? Because I feel like if people are watching, they're going to go, I've never heard of green studies. What's green studies? Green studies is like you learn about nature and the bugs and insects. I want to actually learn about bats. <gasps> Did you see a bat? No. But you learned about them? Yeah. Have you found, what's the most interesting thing you have found in the Green School Gardens? Mm. A mother um, worm giving birth to a baby worm coming out of its mouth. Oh my goodness. What do you not love about Green School? Our, um, music class. You don't like music? It's boring. Why is it boring? I don't know. You don't like playing all the music? Yeah. Is there anything else you don't like? Um, not, not yet. Not yet? Okay, well that's good. You've still got lots of time at Green School. High five, thanks for talking to me. Oh my God, you are so strong. You nearly... We have found my favorite little person at Green School. What's your name? Serena. And what grade are you? Kindy. You're kindy grade. So how old are you? Six. You're six? Oh my goodness. What is something you love about being at Green School? Well, I love that we're always learning new things and we're always helping nature. You're always helping nature. Do you find lots of animals when you're out in nature? Yeah, so, yeah kind of a lot, but not like lots, lots, but a little. But a little. What's something you don't love about Green School? That the garbage in is a this in I don't know. Is it the rubbish? What do you smell the rubbish or do you see the rubbish? Well, I see it in a lot of Bali. There's a bit of rubbish in Bali. Yes. Do you pick it up when you see the rubbish? Yeah. Do you see any rubbish at Green School? Um, I, f I saw a few um, bottle caps. Oh. I picked them up. Good girl, and you put them in the rubbish. And do you love the toilets? Nah. <laughs> they're not so good, eh? Is there anything else you could tell people if they're sitting at home? Maybe they're sitting, where could they be sitting? Maybe they're in London and they're thinking, oh, I might go to the Green School. Do you think, what would you say to a little person wanting to come to the Green School? Um, hi, welcome to the Green School. Would you say, come to Green School? I wouldn't force them. You wouldn't force them? No, we don't want to do that, that's a bit mean. So you wouldn't force someone to come to Green School, but would you say, come, it's the best? Yeah, I would. Yeah. What do you like playing with at Green School? I love theme. What? I I love playing at the swings. Oh, the swings! Oh, they're fun. You always swing on the swing, don't you? Thank you for chatting to me today. You're welcome. You're awesome. Bye, gorgeous. So we have found another little person at Green School. What is your name? Zaha. And what grade are you? Grade three. You're grade three at Green School. And how old are you? Eight. You're eight years old. And what do you love about being at Green School in Bali? That's 
it's really fun and exciting and it's fully green and I love green because I love to run around like in nature. You love all the nature. What else makes it exciting to be at Green School? Like green studies. And what do you do in green studies? Like we do, like sometimes we even make fires out of scratch. <gasps> when you made a fire, did you light the fire? Yeah. And your fire worked? Yeah. Wow. And what don't you like about green school? I like everything. You love everything? Oh, I love that. Is there anything you would tell anyone that wanted to come to green school, but they're sitting at home and they're thinking, oh, I don't know if I'd like it. What would you tell them? It's really scary about the itchy caterpillars. Oh, the itchy caterpillars are scary. Because do they make you itchy or do they make you burn? Yeah, itchy. They make you itchy. And even sometimes snakes. Snakes. Have you seen a snake at green school? No. No, not yet. Have you seen one at home? Uh, not yet. Not yet. In India I have. Oh, you've seen one in India? A lot. Okay. So you've seen snakes in India, but not in Bali? Yeah. Okay. Well, it's lovely to chat with you. I've even gone to Bali Bird Park with the class for a field trip. Oh, you went to Bali Bird Park with grade three? Yeah. And we even saw a uh, 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 Komodo dragon. And was it a big Komodo dragon or yeah. a little one? Big. How big? Like, I don't really know from Leon, maybe to you. So pretty big, a couple of meters long. Yeah. Whoa, that was a fun thing to do at Green School. And there were a lot of uh, birds. Colorful birds? Yeah. Okay. And then we even got to watch a movie. Okay. And even put, take photos with a bird on our hand. Wow, so you had a bird on your arm. Yeah. That was a great thing to do at school. Okay, well thank you for chatting to us. High five. Busy. We've come across three other little people. Who have we got here? What's your Jamie. name? Jamie. Jamie. Gail. Gail. Leon. Are you guys twins? Yes. Oh, I thought so. What do you guys love about being at Green School in Bali? Jamie, you go first. It's so natural and I love all the nature. You like all the nature? You like being outdoors? Yeah? What about you? I, I like jungle because I, I like getting mud and it's really nice to be outdoors. Yes, same. Okay. Like, like, I'm kind of a jungle boy. Are you a jungle boy? Same. Yeah. It's so dirty and you, and because I always try to become, like, I always try to stay clean. It's very but hard I love getting dirty. to stay clean when you're at green school, isn't like, it? Like, they're jungle boys and I'm not. Oh, so you're not the jungle boy, but you boys are the jungle boys. Yeah. Is that yeah, why you've yeah. got long hair like Tazi? So have you seen any snakes at green school? Yes. yes. How many snakes have you seen? Greens, we so see a lot of. Um, and when I was in grade one, I, I, we were all doing this project, this part, and we had to get um strings. And I found a string. I found it, and and then it's us. One of my friends said he think that's a snake, and I looked close to the face, and I figured out it's a snake. So you thought it was a string, but it was actually a snake. Yeah, that's but a bit scary. Did you pick it up? Yeah, I did, but it wasn't alive. It was like dead and stuff. Oh, okay. And also, um, sometimes we were we sometimes you can find spinning cobras. There's a lot of vine snakes, like divine green snakes. Have you seen a spinning cobra at Green yeah. School? Yes. yes. If we go to Ten wow. Ender, there's a path, and there there's a lot of spinning cobras. And there's and also black and white. So do you think that's something you love green about green. green School or not love about Green School? The snakes. Both. 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 A bit of both. They're pretty cool. Snakes. Another like. So oh, um, like we make a little team and we play football and and we're all, and we're all jungle boys. Oh, that like, sounds fun. You play football at lunchtime? Yeah. Fun. Is there anything else field. you can think that you love? Um, yeah, football. Football. Just football. Yeah, football is our favorite. What about you, Mister? My favorite is crab. Tag. tag. Oh, you like to play tag. Yeah, but I like it like in places other than Money Hiding Spot and it isn't too dangerous. It's so, and, but in Green School, there's a lot of hiding spots, but some of them aren't like you're thinking, should I hide there or should I not? Because there might be snakes or nails and stuff like that. And would you guys like to stay at Green School for all of your schooling? 
Yeah. Until you finish high school? Yeah. Yeah? You'd like to be here until you finish high school and then you'll graduate. Okay. Thanks guys for talking. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. So we have come up now to the middle school, the heart of the school at Green School Bali, and we have run into, what is your name? Mark, my name is Mark. And what grade are you? I'm in grade 8. Currently. Grade 8, so the last year of middle school at Green School Bali. Well, tell me, what do you love about Green School? I love that um, it's everything, everything is made out of bamboo and it's really green and you can move everywhere if you want, if you feel like it. Okay, you love, and you love being outdoors, no walls. Yeah. What yeah. do you not love about Green School? Um, that when it's windy or rainy, the, the, it gets inside the classroom. So okay, yeah. that's a bit annoying. Fair yeah. enough. Okay. okay, thanks for chatting. Yeah. <laughs> so I have come across the most amazing of the grade eighters at Green School Bali. My darling dearest, Mia. Mila, what do you love about Green School Bali? Um, I love the freedom. Like, for example, today, I was halfway my Bahasa class. I got to leave and I played football. Just for no apparent reason. I got to play football. So halfway through class, you get to play football at Green School. It's amazing. <laughs> what else do you love about Green School? Um, the no walls. I can feel the breeze. Yeah. Um, and my teachers, I love my teachers. You love your teachers. I love Why do you love your teachers at Green School? They're just too cool. They're too cool. They're too cool. You want to be just like your teachers. Yeah. What mm -hmm. makes them cool though? Are they like funny? They have fun? Um, the... They're very like free spirited. My one teacher, Ibu Laura, she's so optimistic and so loud and fun. <laughs> There's a little pump for Evo Laura. Evo Laura. <laughs> what do you not love about Green School? Um, the roof, it leaks all the time and then it gets on my computer. <laughs> that's just, that's not very good. I always have to take my shoes off when I go upstairs. Bamboo. <laughs> Everything's made of bamboo uh, at Green yeah. School. Um, mm, nothing else. What are you, are you hoping, what's your hopes? Are you hoping to graduate from Green School? Or yes, you, I am. Well, as your mother, I might let you. Maybe. <laughs> you maybe, maybe. <laughs> if you're lucky. Maybe. Okay, well, thanks, babe. Bye. <laughs> I say, you say, we say, all together, Green School! So we have found some more middle schoolers at Green School. Mm -hmm. Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> what grade are you guys? Grade, grade eight. eight. Grade eight. How long have you been at Green School? Three years, almost. Almost two years. Okay. What do you love about Green School? Probably just like everybody, like how open they are about everybody. Okay. Mine's because like they don't like bully, like there's no such thing as bullying here. Bullying and, like, and judgment. Yeah, like, like they're less, always like, yeah. even though like they might like not be like the same level of coolness as us, they're still like sticking together and like being nice to everyone. Yeah, why do you, why do you think that is at Green School? Okay, I, because everybody's like from different countries and everything. We all have to treat each other the same. Yeah. We learned that. Okay, what do you not love? The chairs. The chairs, <laughs> chairs are like uh, I downgrade. am waiting for someone to say the toilets, not one person. Toilet the chairs. Toilet. The toilets are not that bad. The toilets oh, are not that bad. I don't mind it. At yeah. Green School, if you don't know, we have compostable toilets. So when you go into a toilet at Green School, never look down. No. <laughs> it's the worst. It's... All right, guys. Thanks for chatting. Thank you. We are nearing the high school part of Green School. Let's go have a chat with some high schoolers and see what they think of Green School. How old are you, puppy? What's your name? Clem. And what grade are you? Um, I'm in grade 12, so I'm a senior. So you're last year at Green School? Yep. How many years have you been at Green School? I would say on and off for about six years. Okay, so yep. a long time. Yeah. How do you yeah. feel about graduating? Um, I'm excited. I think uh, what I've learned at the school uh, is applicable to the real world. I um, uh, sort of rejected. Australian schooling, so this has been really good for me for the past six years to sort of explore my passions and, and pursue them. So what are you, when you leave Green School, there's so much talk about what happens when kids leave Green School, what are you going on to do? Um, so I'm doing a quest on my Greenstone project at the moment, which is building a tiny house. So what we'll be doing is finishing that off, getting that ready. Um, I might live in it, set up a permaculture garden, maybe rent it out on Airbnb. 
which will be cool. And then I might use the skills that I learnt from construction when building the, the tiny house to then build a van and then maybe travel, travel up Australia and the East Coast. Amazing. So, yeah. Do you feel like Howard's Green School helped support you in kind of discovering your passion and knowing what you want to do? Well, I think just having the, the freedom in the periods, I think the relationships we have it with the teachers, we can sort of advocate for ourselves and our education and they can sort of build around us rather than a structured system. It's sort of uh, a lot more student influence. I find, you know, the skills that I've learnt here uh, like unmatched compared to any sort of academic, um, how do you say? Yeah, like academic experience that I've had before. Well, yeah, my dad's a builder, um, so I've always been, I've always grown up around work sites, and the process of building a house has always been appealing to me. Um, I also love design, uh, possible options, studying design, UX design, interior design at university when I finish. Um, yeah, so that's always, design's always been a passion. I'm a creative person, not much of an academic person, but I am a creative person. So doing this project, uh, built, doing construction on a small scale and using design, you know, tiny houses are, need to have very uh, concise uh, designs and um, the purpose. The purpose needs to be very, uh, they need to be, it's a purposeful structure. Everything has to work and everything has to be modular. Um, for you to be working in such a, and living in a, such a small space, you need to do a lot of thinking. So, sure. Yeah. Um, what's the biggest thing you've got out of Green School? Is it discovering your passion uh, or is it something else? I think just reigniting my passion for education. Um, didn't have a great experience in Australia. I actually went back um, over two years ago. I went back into a standard grammar school education system and I okay. completely rejected that after being at three and a half years, four years at Green School. What was the struggle going back? Ty and blazer, um, exams, um, I think the key, the best thing about Green School, like people will talk about how it's, the education system is amazing, but I think what the proof, the proof is in the pudding because I'm excited, like on a Sunday, I'll be excited for school on Monday or if I'm on holidays, I'm excited for school, like I can't wait for the next week to start oh, school, yeah. you know. So I think just being excited for education is good. Also carrying on to further education in university, having that, like approaching it with that same drive yeah. and, and passion, so. This is talked yeah. about a lot within Green School, and that um, it's hard to leave Green School and go to university. Is that something you've come across or not? No. Um, because you I have think an older brother that's at university, yeah, so, so he's been my, my brother goes to, he's just gotten accepted and he's attending his uh, first week of uni this week at Sydney University, which is a pretty prestigious Australian university. Uh, and all my friends, uh, I haven't really started applying yet, sort of university isn't completely on the cards, on the table for me right now, because um, I haven't really looked into it. But I think everyone that I know that's applying to all the, these really good universities, getting to universities, business schools in London and yeah I think I think it's not really a problem. Um, Are you, do you find that the school support you a lot and that if you want to go to university there's always that support system that um, if you want to go they'll find ways to help you to get there? Yeah I, I think uh, there's pathways here like there's SAT programs here so if you do want to pursue and go to a more academic school where they need a little bit more than just a green school diploma you, you'll do a course within the schools doing SAT math or um, and then SAT literacy and you can study that and then do your testing at another school here that you can use on your e-portfolio to send off okay. to university. I love that. I did not know that yeah. at all. Yeah. That's amazing. Is there anything to think of because you know I feel like people watch it and they're like do I send my kids to the green school? What are the downfalls? What have you? I want to be super honest. A, down, super real. a downfall? What are the downfalls to green school? Um, well I think a lot of parents and students do struggle Sometimes they can, like, like I rejected the structure. Some people can reject the lack of structure and not yeah. having the set classes and that's, that's what you do. Like that's what everyone does and that's what you do. Some people don't, can't really handle that. Um, sometimes with an education system, when you're advocating, you have no one to push you along. So there's sometimes a lack of accountability with students. They can't, like, if you're not pushing yourself and managing yourself, you can really fall behind. Um, you know, you can, you can cruise, I think Green School, 
from an academic perspective, some people are concerned about. But you can coast through green school and have it as easy as you want, but if you educate, advocate for yourself, you can, you can bring it up to a quite a high academic level and study and do studies and courses here that they offer here that are quite advanced. Okay. I, I think they're yeah. pretty advanced. Amazing. So you can you can you can pick and choose. I'm excited to see your green star in front. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous or excited about that? Uh, super nervous. Yeah. And what date do you do your green star? I think the seventh, sixteenth, sixteenth of June. Can you just give a quick explanation? What is green star? What is your project? Obviously, we know it's on tiny homes, but how does it start? How does it come together? And what um, is the end result? Okay. So basically, uh, the green stone is a TED Talk style capstone project so all of our seniors in grade 12 they'll do uh, they'll find a project uh, that has some sort of social impact or environmental impact and then they'll pursue that passion and then present it at the end of the year in a 13 minute TED talk style presentation Wow! Yeah. Amazing. it's pretty exciting I, can't wait to see you. I think there's gonna be like 400 Four, five hundred people coming. So, wow. yeah, it is a big deal. It's amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to no me. Worries. I feel like that's given an amazing insight into high school. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. No worries. We are now in the high school part of school, and we've found an amazing student. Hi. <laughs> what grade are you at Green? I'm. Uh, my name is Belle, and I'm in grade twelve. Okay, and how long have you been at Green School? I've been at Green School for about, I don't know, 13 years approximately, yeah. Were you here at the very beginning? Yeah, I was here when it opened. Wow, where have you come from? Uh, I was actually born here and my mom was looking for like a job and the school was about to open and they were like, hey, we'll offer you a job and you give us a student in exchange. So your mom works at Green School, she's mm -hmm. a teacher? Yeah, so I'm basically like 100% Green School. Wow, so you've known no other education? Nope. Not I've either. done a couple of trial days at other schools, but only like for fun. I was never really going to transfer, so. Okay, yeah. and what? how do you feel you're about to graduate? How do you feel about graduating after 13 years? It's it's definitely scary, you know. I think that's a lot of for everyone in their high school graduation, especially here since I've kind of been stuck with the same group of people since the beginning. And this is like all I've ever known, right? And, yeah. uh, and I'm going to a whole new environment, like, uh, university and stuff. And it's so like, what are you doing after Green School? Uh, so hopefully I plan to probably take a gap year because due to my age uh, I'm a bit young to like actually qualify for like university accommodation and stuff like that. How old are you? I'm 16. So you're 16 and you're grade 12 graduating. Uh-huh. I will be 17 when I graduate actually because my birthday is in June so. Okay oh so you're so young to be yeah. graduating. So you're going to take a gap year, and then what's your plan? Uh, I plan to go to university. You know, um, I'm still getting, I'm still waiting for like the rest of the offers to come in, and then from there, I will just pick one that I like, and then we'll like set something up, and I'll plan to go there after my gap year. Within Indonesia, are you planning, or without? outside Indonesia? Probably outside of Indonesia. I feel like it's good to make a change, especially like at this age. So good to like experience new things. And while Green School is like a lovely place, definitely. It's just that it's also important to like push yourself, you know? Like maybe I'll work a corporate job for a bit. I probably won't like it, but at least I tried it out, you know? <laughs> I love your attitude on life and what's coming. Oh, what's thank your you. Greenstone project, which is a big deal in grade 12? What's it on? It's definitely a big deal. I'm trying to keep it a little bit as a surprise and a bit under wraps, oh, okay. uh, but uh, don't tell worry. A bit? I'll tell a little bit. But it focuses mainly around values and how they change and shift over time, and how that's okay. And it's like okay to change and stuff like that, as long as your values aren't actively hurting anyone or like actively causing harm in like your community or in the environment. Then I think that change is a really big deal. And a lot of people change, and a lot of people are like I I, know, I like the old you, but sometimes you just have to embrace the new people around us. And that doesn't mean that, that, maybe that means you stop being friends, but you know what, if they're happy, let them be happy. That is probably the most amazing thing I've heard anyone say. How did you come up to think you're gonna do value? Well, um, my original thing was about kindness and that was like my main value at that point. But I came up with that green stone like when I was in 11th grade. I was a wee baby back then. Yeah. And because I was like 15 and like as I and I grew a lot in like the spend of the year. And it came to a point where I felt like I couldn't be up on that stage and just go on and on and on about kindness, knowing that it's not the only thing that's important in my life anymore. You wow. know? Wow. I love that transition. Now, what is uh, being honest? What do you not love about green school? 
Honestly, I think a lot of the difficulty is about like the education. While immersive experiences are great for children, especially if you go up and you want to seek higher education, green school can make it somewhat difficult because we don't have standardized testing here. So it's yeah. kind of up to you to like go out there on your own, especially if like you're not LSP, like a local scholarship program. You have to go out there on your own to do all your studying with like a different program or a different school, and that can be really hard for some people. I know it was hard for me when I found out because oh, imagine I found out that SAT scores are actually important when applying to university. Yeah, so have you done the SAT program here? I was actually very blessed and where I chose not to take it because I already had so much on my plate but my grades were already good within the green school curriculum and so I decided to just take my chances and talk to like a couple universities one-on-one -on -one and be like hey this is my curriculum this is my project I've done over the past year I don't have SAT scores however I'm willing to do like uh, English test or whatever you need like a base year if that makes you feel more comfortable with me attending and I actually got in without needing an SAT score wow okay yeah so amazing you had quite a positive response and into like yeah and, like, and to like a stem subject too so I was very shocked that it happened. Wow, that is so amazing. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much for talking to me. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank Bye. you. I appreciate it. Bye. <laughs> So we've chatted to some amazing Green School students. It was so fun, always so fun to chat with the Green School students. So hopefully that's given you a good insight into what the students think of Green School. And maybe one day we will see you here in Bali at Green School. 